Hey guys, it's Gigi here, and since it's October and the beginning of normally when gymnastics meets start, I thought it'd be a good idea to have a why you should start gymnastics video because I know some people are like, well I want to start it, but I'm not sure if I should or if I shouldn't, and so in this video today I'm going to tell you guys some reasons why you should get into gymnastics. I'm also going to tell you guys things that you should consider while thinking of starting gymnastics. Now. I myself started gymnastics when I was three years old, and I did it all the way up until eighth grade, so I was about 13 years old. And now I'm, I'm 15, and my school has this gymnastics program, so I'm probably going to get into it again because when I was in fifth and between fifth and eighth grade, I was very competitive. Well, maybe not very competitive, but I was pretty competitive in gymnastics. So since I spent about 10 years of my life doing gymnastics, I feel like I pretty much know what's going on and if anyone was ever to have questions on gymnastics, you guys could just contact me on Twitter and I would help answer those questions. If you're bored sitting at home and you really have nothing to do, I really think you should try it, but there are things to consider. One thing is money. Now I know that's an obvious reason and that's a lot of problems with sports, but I know that gymnastics can get very, very expensive if you start to get more into it. I mean, of course, if you were to go like once or twice a week, it's probably like between 60 and 80 per month. At least that's what it is where I live. And yeah, but if you really love it, I think you should totally just try it. Now, if you do gymnastics just for fun, then you're not gonna have the cost of meets or leotards or meet fees. However, if you start to get it really competitive and you have competitions, and I say I probably had between five and nine per season, then things start to rack up and I know some gyms, like my gym, did fundraisers to help pay for meet fees because some of those were a bit ridiculous, but do take part in those if your gymnastics has fundraisers to help with fees. So those are just some things to consider. Another thing to consider is, are okay, do you have natural abilities that would help you in gymnastics? If you're the type of person who can't run for your life or you can barely pick up a book, then it might not be for you because in gymnastics you need a lot of strength which is quite obvious because if you watch the Olympians they do some crazy things I don't even understand like they jump so high and it's just amazing and you look at them and they're just all muscle because they work you out a lot at gymnastics if you don't have natural flexibility granted you can work on flexibility but if you go to do your splits and you, you can like barely do this then you may want to rethink gymnastics maybe go into something different like dance because I know you could do like tap or you could do hip hop. There's different types of dance things that are not exactly like gymnastics but similar. Now another thing with gymnastics is the people there. Now okay, I wasn't good at gymnastics but I was for some reason I won and I don't know why. I had one good season and the girls like in any sport they kind of get a little jealous I guess. Not real. I don't know. Some of them just act a little weird, and I don't, they probably don't realize they're doing it, but they do it, and you just feel really left out because girls at a meet or something, they'll be like comparing scores, and then a low score for me might not will be a high score for someone else, and then they, it's like, it's like grades. That's what it's like. If you have high grades, and then you sometimes get a low grade, and then people's low grades are your high grades, they make you feel bad, and you're just like, because everyone has different expectations. But you can't let those people get to your head because I myself let this one girl get to my head and she like she made me really upset because she was talking behind me and it, it was really hard for me because I was like 12 years old and when you're 12 you take things to heart. So if you were to go into gymnastics I feel like you need to go in there knowing that although you are a teen it's more of a for yourself kind of sport. Another thing you need to consider if you're interested in gymnastics is you need to realize that there's a lot of dedication to it. When I was in uh, seventh grade, okay, when I was in fifth, I think fifth grade, I went on to our, my gym senior team, and that's when things started to get more competitive. And then by fifth or sixth grade, I can't really remember, I'm sorry, I started going four to five times a week. And during the school week, that's obviously a lot of time. You really learn your time management skills, which has helped me a lot in my life in high school now because I really know how to manage my time but there's just a lot going on because you'll have you know eight hours of school you come home and my gym was about 30 minutes away so you have to you know driving time and then three hour practice and then driving time come home homework again because you 
a decent amount. So you also need to take that into consideration because if you have a busy schedule already, gymnastics might not be for you. Now, if you're a mom and you're thinking about getting your daughter in gymnastics, you also need to realize the sacrifices that you're making because my mom entered me into gymnastics because my older sister had done it and then now I have two older sisters and then my other older sister wished she would have done it because it would have helped her in cheerleading. So my mom put me in gymnastics thinking that I was going to want to do cheerleading and so that I'd have a better background for cheerleading, but I never went into cheerleading. <laughs> I just stayed with gymnastics. So you need to realize that it's a lot of time and you're going to, like your family yourself is going to have to make some sacrifices if your daughter is serious about gymnastics. And it's just like sacrifices because I remember my little brother wanted to do sports when I was younger and it was always like conflicting with my gymnastics. Now of course it's like the opposite where he's into soccer so it evened out I wasn't totally selfish. Now some things that I enjoyed from gymnastics personally is for me, okay, I think everyone can agree with this, when you're in fourth grade or fifth grade and you can do a back handspring that's a pretty big deal and you like showing off just a little bit not like doing back tucks or anything crazy, but like little back handsprings. That was pretty cool when I was younger because I was able to do that and I was able to do the splits and no one really else could, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> not gonna lie. Another thing I enjoyed is just performing. I'm the type of person who would do so so in practices and then at meets I'd do really really good and my coaches would be like, where did that come from? Because that's not what you do in practice. But I just loved performing in front of the judges. I know some people are afraid of performing in front of judges, but honestly it's I loved it because I loved, like, um, I'm a perfectionist, so I liked perfecting my routines and I liked making my skills better and I like seeing myself improve from, like, one stage to the next. So you also make a lot of friends because you're with these people for how many hours a week? You're going to obviously get to know them. So although gymnastics has a lot of sacrifices and it can be quite expensive sometimes, in the ending, if you love it or if you're interested in it, then I think you should totally go on and try it because honestly at the end of the day it's a lot of fun and you make a lot of memories in the gym and you have really strong relationships with your coaches that form and friends and it's just a great experience to help prepare you for the real world because it treats you what people are really like and it helps you interact with others and it's just overall it'll be a great experience for you or for your child. And with that I'm just going to end the video here. If you guys ever have any questions ask down below in the comments and if you want to talk about your gymnastics experience also put that in the comments or message me on twitter because i'd love to hear your stories as well and how you guys are doing so as you can notice celeste is not here with me i'm behind the camera <laughs> so we're gonna try having like our own videos every couple of weeks just because we're interested in some different things and we want them to be on our YouTube channel. So next week you can stay tuned to see a, a video of just Celeste. The type of videos I'll be doing is more like sports related, like you know, stretching, flexibility, gymnastics, along those sorts. And then Celeste is more into DIYs and she's really good at doing nails. I hope she puts up a video soon. So I'll see you guys in our next video and do me a favor and give this video a like down below, comment, like, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you guys soon. Happy October 2nd! Bye!